Gemini, this is all about you. Gemini, this is your weekly oracle and tarot card reading from Born Without Boundaries. Yes, we will run into one commercial and I will definitely warn you beforehand. Don't worry, I will not let it interrupt the message. Welcome to Born Without Boundaries. Please do click subscribe and ring that bell so you know when I upload content. Gemini, it's very, very good to meet up with you again as we move into Mercury going direct. This is a really nice time for you. I think it's a sweet spot. It's a sweet, this week, sweet spot. Why? Mercury is going direct. People will not, people will stop misinterpreting you again. Maybe you'll be able to communicate more articulate, articulately the way that you're used to. All of those things will start going back to normal. And also, we still have this beautiful couple of weeks where Jupiter is shining bright in Sagittarius, which is really helping to clean out your closet and help you move forward and really kind of almost like making you a little bit lucky. So that is all good things. Expect this week to be um, full of some really nice surprises, ones that you don't see coming, ones that you probably weren't even thinking about. Ones that will almost come out of nowhere, like, oh, wow, really? Oh, you know, like, it's, it's, it's that energy of, not that you would, not that your, 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 you know, your nose would have been down to it, like, but you weren't even thinking about it, is what I'm saying. But I think when it arrives, you'll realize, oh, that's, that's cool. It, it will, you will know, what I'm saying is you will know what to trust. And you will know that even though it's an option that you didn't expect or weren't even predicting, it's good stuff. Like, you, it be, because you'll be intrigued by it. It'll be something that's very interesting to you. So watch out for that clue or that, that sort of um, flashing light that says, yes, 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 pay attention to me. Yeah, like, you'll know, and you'll know because it interests you. So, general energies for Gemini for the week ahead. Gemini, sun, moon, or rising. Could be your sun, moon, rising sign, or wherever Gemini affects your natal chart. You can apply these energies. Look at you. Time for the beginner mind. What did I say? Things are clearing up. Communications are clearing up for you. It's going to relieve any tension that you were feeling. How do I know? Because the card popped right out. It, it didn't take any time at all. It was very, very clear. You're getting a restart, maybe a hard restart, maybe another opportunity, a new chance. But honestly, it's like, wave, you know, waving your hair, you just don't care. This is like basically throwing off the mantle of caring about other people's opinions about you, but also having this under, like sort of under armor against anybody who, in other words, you're like older and wiser is what I'm saying. And I don't care if you're 15. There has been something that you've gone through and you realize you're sort of more prepared, I think, for the worst, but that makes you feel the best. It it's not weighing you down in any way. I just think it's almost empowering you to like, no, I got this. I got this covered. I am ready for whatever the world throws at me. And this is sort of my game plan for moving forward is to have these defensive tactics, t tactics in case I need it. In, in fact, you may have demonstrated your abilities recently so people fear you. You know, it's almost like don't mess with me because... This, it just, it, it would be, a, it would be silly for you to do so. I will probably sting you like a bee and be out before you know it. Catch me if you can type of thing, type of energy. I don't think that you're on the attack or even particularly on the defensive. I just think you have the confidence now to know that, you know, nobody's going to get to you and nobody's going to get through. No, like you. You have what it takes. Ooh, maybe you even have some information on people. <laughs> oh, Gemini, maybe you even have some information on people. And I think that that's what it kind of, esoterically speaking, you are prepared. You feel ready and you have an, in, in sort of, uh, in like, um, energy, like a, 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 a fully fueled, a full sense of 
your ability to defend yourself. But I think that there's also like practically speaking, 3D speaking, there could be some information that you have on some people that you are more than happy to sort of remind them that you have on them. Um, because maybe just maybe they need to be reminded. <laughs> like, listen, your, your, in other words, you would sting with words. You would sting with words and with information, not with, you know, attacking people or anything like that. And so I think that this is a week where you may know something. You may know something that is valuable to other people. And um, I don't think that you want to share it. I think that you want to hold on. Surrender now. You could be dealing with a Sagittarius. This is a Sagittarius energy. Um, oh, let me hold this back right now. If you are on platforms that allow for commercial breaks, I am going to be putting one in here. And I'll see you guys in about 30 seconds. So um, thank you for hanging out through that, Gemini. That's actually... A contribution to the channel and I really appreciate it because the the commercial sponsor the channel so it's good stuff and I appreciate it surrender now time for a beginner my oh it's almost like the tangled web you weave and I won't be surprised if that that card pops out it's like you're defensive against this person and you want to show them how much you could use against them but the truth is that you really want them and it's almost like you want their attention. So this bristling is more about really showing almost how appealing you are, how much you can do. In other words, this strategy is to demonstrate all that you are capable of as opposed to you being ignored because you're not willing to accept that. Now, this has something to do with an opportunity, an opportunity that you've been wanting that's been important to you for a while. So it doesn't necessarily have to mean romance. It's, it's not about that. It could be. General reading, though, so not necessarily that. But this is definitely about an opportunity that you are basically not willing to let go or throw to the wayside. And I think you're pulling out all the stops. It's like you got your strategy and you've got your layers of sort of weaponry, not literal, literal weaponry, but weaponry that you can basically use pulling out all the stops, all the bells and whistles. You came prepared, even in a way that people can't even see everything that you've prepared because you don't want to reveal all that you have. You just want to suggest all that you have to intrigue somebody and get their attention. You could be trying, this could be um, Sagittarius energy, which is all about opportunity or um, new ideas um, or luck itself. Interesting. Surrender now. Nope. I'm sorry. I have to say this. You are not feeling it. You are not about to surrender. Oh, oh, I just heard it. I get it. You're telling them on the other side of your arsenal. Surrender now. Just give up because there's no way that I'm losing this. Ooh, you're bringing the heat this week. You are so filled with confidence. You are so filled with confidence that there's no way that you're going to lose whatever you set your mind to. Gemini, what are you up to? No, you know what? You guys probably don't want to tell, and that's okay too. I don't, I don't want to reveal your secrets because you know we have cross watchers up in here. I see you. My Gemini, I don't want to reveal your secrets, but it is... There is this overwhelming sense of, you, you better surrender now. I see this. You got them in your crosshatch. Ooh. Ooh. Gemini, you all like, through that little scope, you see them. You see them. You got them in sight. And like, oh, oh I just feel this. This is some fun energy. This is some like fun, sexy, playful energy. But it's also determined. I think it's sort of wrapped up in fun sexy playful but it's but it's strategic and ambitious and like a moth to a flame you're just like i know you i know i got them i know they want me i know you want me i know you want me and it's like that what is that pitbull song i know you want me you got them you got them dead bullseye in the center of your crosshatch and they are coming to you like a moth to a flame that's what i'm holding up this card for there's an energy of like a moth to a flame. They're just going to come out 
and they're not going to be able to resist me. Use your mind wisely. But this is, okay, in other words, this is achieving the impossible. You know, right side up, it would be like, yeah, using your mind wisely, strategy, et cetera, et cetera, making the impossible happen. This is the impossible happening. This is the impractical, the improbable, but turning it around and making it actually something that is. In other words, even though the odds are stacked against you, this, not this week, I'm saying even though the odds are stacked against you in this particular situation, this week is the perfect week to go after something where the odds are stacked against you because you're going to have so much confidence and so much ability to just pull out all the stops. You will 90% of the time get exactly what you want. And bacon is sweet, man. <laughs> I know, it's like when poor little piggy's caught in a crosshatch. Somebody's serving bacon in the morning. But it's just, there's a sense, I'm sorry if I offended anybody who's vegan out there, but the bottom line is, I mean, you're ready, you're kind of ready for reaping sweet, sweet rewards. And it's sort of your expectation in this energy now. You, all, you already know that it's coming, be peace. Um, yeah, you are basically the convoy of this energy. You're the deliverer of it. You could be dealing with a Libra as well. Oh, I almost feel like there's a Libra that's trying to like get in here. This is Libra energy. There's this sense of maybe it's even going on inside of you of should I do this? Should I? I'm not really sure. I don't want to be really too aggressive here or too manipulative. I don't want to like come off as, in other words, you don't want people to see just how much strategy you have behind all this. You sort of like, this is like pulling, put it, pulling the dove out of your hat. It's almost like a distraction even, uh, making them see what's up front so they can ignore what's going on behind the scenes. Or it's just plain and simple. This is about this offer of love, this offer of sort of being the one. Let me, let me listen to this. No, I feel like somebody, ooh, oh, okay, you are never alone. So this basically is an offer of love. Two cards together right there. This is an offer of love. You sending out, this is you sending out your call. I guess, Gemini, this is the way you flirt with people. <laughs> because you are sending out this cry of love to somebody. Could be a Libra. I'm feeling major Sagittarius energy. But this is almost like, not only, it's your way of sending out the call or just trying to see how people react to you before you let them know for sure. See, that's the thing. You're not going to let anybody know for sure. You're not going to reveal your hand. That's the thing. Overcome any obstacle, but this is flipped, turned upside down. Oh, that's interesting. I almost feel like there might be a Libra trying to get in the way of what you're trying to do. So it's almost like they're putting up a barrier that it's hard for you to fight against. That's interesting. Almost like maybe they're blocking you, like putting up the shield saying, wait, watch. This is interesting energy. I want to, I want to be sure of this. Gemini, Gemini, for the week ahead, sun, moon, rising, sun, moon, rising. See, I think this is also, honestly, I think this is good news coming in. Good news that you've co coming in that you waited for for quite some time and you had almost in some ways given up, given up waiting. Hmm. Hold on co-create with spirit. This is definitely a voice coming out of the dark, something, an opportunity coming from a place. Yeah, this is, this is almost an opportunity coming from a place where you didn't expect it. And I said that in the beginning of the reading, you have a lot of air here, but also a lot of fire energy. You may have thought that this opportunity or this person was gone for good, but you didn't really want them to be gone for good because they absolutely intrigued you. You bought them out. That's what you did. You tantalized them enough to bring them out, to bring them back to you. Clear out the clutter, clutter and transformation is beautiful, but it's the energy is upside down. 
you're holding on to something. You are. You held on to something even though this something wasn't something that you were supposed to hold on to. You sort of refused to let go. And you kept somebody sort of like, you kept them in your sights and you sort of, you kept them hypnotized by you. Oh, interesting. Interesting energy. Hmm. Give me a second, Gemini. Actually, I'm going to flip the camera around so that you guys can see the cards. Hold on. So here you go. There's a lot of up and down energy. It's almost like, I don't know. It's almost like I said, you remember how I said it's almost like you're serving up one thing but got something else going on behind? I think it's your confidence level. I think it's a feeling of wanting to project a sense of confidence um, and certainty, but I don't think you feel as certain as, as you're coming across as. Um, and the re I, I, the reason for that, it just is. It's, 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 it's this last couple of days of Mercury retrograde, I think, that have maybe have compromised your, compromised your sense of self a little bit. But I have to say, Gemini, it's almost like you've decided to fake it till you make it because you're, you're tired of waiting. You're tired of being stuck. You're trying to empower yourself with a decision. And I, you know what? I think it's a really good strategy for you because you are a thought-driven, idea-driven person. And I think that that is thinking is your best sort of, um, sort of thinking is your best defense. It's almost like, see this little guy? He's covered in swords. He's covered in ideas and he's, he's ready to use them at any time. He's sending them out to anybody who will listen. He, he is puncturing whatever needs to be punctured to get people's attention because he's tired of waiting in the wings. I don't think that you're necessarily extremely comp as confident as you came off as, but for you, it doesn't matter this week. You're like, I'm tired of, I forget about confidence. I'm not waiting for confidence. I'm not waiting anymore at all. There is a sense of, re of, of, of it's, it's all going to be okay. And an unexpected opportunity popping up out of the dark. Like I said, popping up at you that you never thought would happen. Something that, something that is coming from your past that you thought had, had fallen away, dropped away, and was over is now finally coming back to play. And I think it may happen. I would say by the 21st or 22nd, it may actually happen tomorrow because Mercury is going to direct. And as soon as that happens, this energy is just going to pick up for you guys. It is really going to send you forward and be like luck finally struck. So that's a good, it's a good choice. It's a good strategy for you to kind of fake it till you make it and just proceed. And I think that you can feel it coming. And the wonderful thing is you're, you feel it coming. You feel it in faith. This is sort of a leap of faith just based on what you feel as opposed to what you see, because you're sort still sort of in terms of what you see, you're still sort of in the dark. So this is a tremendous leap of faith forward for you. Um, it's got something to do. See, this could be Sagittarius energy as well because Sagittarius energy is coming up in the next couple of days. Before this week is over, we enter Sagittarius season. So you're basically taking a little bit of all that confidence and fortune that you're, that's coming to you in the beginning of Sagittarius season you're, you're almost like borrowing against it these first couple of days this week. And I'm, I'm encouraging you to because it will pick up and it will end up being a good decision for you. But this is something coming back from the past. You clear out the clutter, but the clutter wasn't cleared out. It's stick, it's stuck around. And that's a good thing. It's a good thing because it's giving you a springboard forward. This is that unexpected energy. Let's go over to um, tarot. I'm going to do a full tarot spread, full tarot analysis on this energy. And if you're interested, I'm also doing the romance reading. Um, I'll, I'll, let's bring it over to the extended. I'll see you guys there.